Hi, I'm Noah with the Pit Barrel Cooker Company, and today I'm going to show you how to do our signature Pit Barrel Chicken. Uh, we have three chickens today. Uh, all we're going to need is six stainless steel hooks that come with the Pit Barrel, the Pit Barrel All-Purpose Seasoning Rub, and of course the chicken. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to cut the chicken in half the right way, how to hang the chicken on the meat hooks, and then how to season them up, and then we'll go outside and put them on the Pit Barrel. Uh, one of the easiest ways I've found just by accident to cut the, uh, the chickens in half is just a decent bread knife. Uh, I've used many different sharp knives, uh, some uh, you know, poultry scissors, different things like that, and I found that these just work really well and most people have them, so that's what I use. Okay, we have our three chickens. We're ready to cut them up. Um, when cutting the chickens, obviously you want to be careful. Uh, you want to make sure that you buy whole chickens uh, at the grocery store, and then we're going to cut them in half. But like I said, you want to be careful. There's no easy, graceful way to cut chickens in half. Uh, but like I said, this is a, a, the best way that I've found to do it. You want to set them to where the breast side is facing up, just like this. Take the, uh, the knife. I find a good way to do it is hold, hold the uh, breast on, on both sides, just like this, and cut like this. So we'll just cut right now to it. Once you have the chicken opened up, like this. You have the, the spine and the backbone right there. Pick one side or the other. Don't try to cut right down the center of it. It's a lot harder. Just slightly go over to one side and it's much easier to cut through it. Just like that. Much easier. So now that you take the halves, we've got this. We'll go ahead and cut these other ones up here. These chickens, they're young chickens. Um, they're, not, they're not full size, but uh, they're, they're your average size chicken. And just uh, a note, we're gonna put these in for about two hours. Uh, if you put all the chickens in for two hours, whether they're full size or younger ones, you never go wrong and they always come out perfect. Okay, we have our chickens cut in half and we're ready to season them. We're gonna use the Pit Barrel All-Purpose Seasoning Rub. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna put a bunch of the seasoning on. Uh, you can never put too much on. It's, uh, you know, the seasoning is, does not have a lot of salt in it. So you can go extra seasoning and not get too salty. Um, you'll see I'm putting on quite a bit. You want to make sure you get under the legs, under the wings. Season these up real quick. And we'll flip them over and we'll season the other side. It's just a really easy way, an inexpensive way to feed a large group and people go crazy over this chicken. It's some of the best stuff. Uh, people have said it's some of the best chicken they've ever had in their life. And, uh, and I personally think it is. It's, it's awesome stuff. So again, you see I'm putting a lot on all sides. Don't want to miss any places. There's a spot here behind the leg. You want to make sure you get. And again, you know, this is a whole uh, 4.7 ounce jar of seasoning and I'm going to use probably half of it on these three chickens. So you can also, uh, we also sell uh, five pound bags of the all-purpose seasoning on our website at pitbrellcooker.com. If you want to get it in bulk, definitely some good savings there. Okay, we have both sides of the chicken well seasoned. Now I want to show you how to properly place the hooks in the chicken. Um, first thing we're going to do, and this is important, you want to make sure that the wing and the leg are facing down in the barrel. So taking the chicken just like this, on the inside of the chicken, you're gonna place the hook. If you can, try to get a little bit of the, the bone inside. Just run it right through, it goes through pretty easy. And it goes just like this. And that is the proper way to put the hook in the chicken. We'll go ahead and do the rest of these. If you do it like this, the chicken will not come off in the pit barrel cooker. And you know, if you get a little bit of the bone, that's what you want to do. Very simple, easy. Okay. Okay, we've cut our three chickens into halves. We've seasoned the chickens. We've properly placed the meat hooks in the chickens. And we are ready to hang them on the pit barrel cooker. It's been just about 20 minutes since we lit the coals, so we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready to hang the chicken on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, it's a little windy today, but that's one of the nice things about the pit barrel is the wind really doesn't affect it. Um, for putting the chicken on, you don't really need gloves to do it. Uh, taking it off, you can use the hook grabber to 
the bro cooker comes with. Okay, as I mentioned, 20 minutes has gone by. The coals are ready. First thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and take the rods, put them in the barrel. Take the first chicken, set it in just like this. Okay, we've got the chicken hung in the barrel. We put the lid on. We'll come back in two hours and pull the chicken off. It's like clockwork every time. The chicken comes out perfect and it's juicy and tender and everybody's gonna love it. Okay, two hours has gone by. We're ready to pull the chickens off. Chicken looks awesome. Go ahead and pull these off. And if you follow the instructions and you always fill the coal basket up level and you give it just 20 minutes, two hours is always enough. It comes out perfect every time. You don't need to do any more or any less. Chickens come out just like that. Okay, now that we have the chicken off, we're gonna go ahead and take it inside. We'll cover it with some tent foil and let the chicken sit for just about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, we just took the tin foil off. We're gonna go ahead and start by pulling the hooks out of the chicken. Do that first. The first thing I'll do, uh, you can put gloves on or you can just do it with your hands or you can use a knife and a fork. Uh, really simple way to do it is take, take the wing and peel it right back. Oftentimes it'll just come right, come right off. Um, you can just go ahead and cut that last little bit <clears throat> and put that in the platter. Next thing, go ahead and just cut right around the leg to break it from the skin so you're not peeling all the skin off the rest of the chicken and just pull it straight down. And you'll go ahead and do that and put that leg, leg apart. I'll do that to all of them. And oftentimes you can just pull the rest of those best way to take the breast apart, you can do it one of two ways. Um, the bone will typically just pull right off of the chicken breast and you can pull it off just like that. And the bone is out completely, a boneless chicken breast right now. You can cut it into a, to a couple pieces if you'd like, or you can leave it whole. Either way, you can set it, in, set it on the plate. So just finishing putting the last piece of chicken on the platter. And this is how it looks looks absolutely delicious and this is our signature pit barrel chicken okay that wraps it up for our signature pit barrel chicken it's absolutely delicious I know you're gonna love it I'd like to thank you for watching